loving memory of my fellow classmate, friend, and brother, Zach Gross, is entitled, I Can Only Imagine. How do you live when you lose the person you can't imagine living without? I can only imagine that your days are played without disbelief. I can only imagine that each day falls down aimlessly like an autumn leaf. I can only imagine that your days are cold even in July heats. I can only imagine that your that grief sucks the life of you slowly and unknowingly like an inch. I can only imagine that death grips your stomach so tight that you can barely speak. I can only imagine that the road to recovery is narrow and sleep. I can only imagine that your eyes are heavy because the closest thing to death is sleep. I can only imagine that your night air is saturated with noises and voices of what you hear and repeat. I can only imagine that when you see my face, time collapses on space and you see flashes and split second images of this future that was limitless. I can only imagine that my eyes are painstaking reminders, school rings on fingers and splinters in your heart. Everything I am and will be reminds you that every, of everything he could have been, should have been, and still. I can only imagine that every hill is steep and every hole is deep. I can only imagine that your mental was filled with images of his empty seat. The hole in your heart produces an empty beat. The empty seat placed that graduation only submits the validation that your precious creation is gone. You're left with questions like, why does it hurt so long? You think you're okay and you hear his favorite song, you long for his presence because he was the very essence of good. You wondered if it's your fault, but you did everything you could. With eyes full of fiery rain, you try to constrain, but that only heights the pain you feel so deep. Every precious memory you keep tucked away in the back of your mind because through your memories his light shines. The glare from your sun causes you to run from thinking of him. And tears run down your face because of the bittersweet taste. Sorrow fills the air and it's hard for you to share. But rightfully so, because it's not fair that you have to be the one to bear, losing your one and only cub. When you look out your window, like ghostly souls, the wind blows and sounds of death trap one with wings of crows. Out of their beaks, loneliness flows and the echoes remind you that now every song is a solo. The eerie feeling turns your torso and you wonder if your body is hollow because you poured out your soul in tears of sorrow. But who am I to say these things? He who only imagines cannot fathom the eternal hurt of a childless mother. Who am I to say these things? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Words so deep tend to grip you by the spine, but I thank God for every single line. The truth is explosive when left unspoken, but when let out in the open, it helps grieving souls that are coping with the loss of an individual that is critical to their survival. But still, I am left pondering the ever perplexing question, how do you live when you lose the person you can't imagine living without? The answer is, don't. You live for that person. I hereby dedicate my life to Zachary Gross. Everything that I, everything that I will do that is pure and good shall be for you, Zach. I give your soul permission to live vicariously through me. It shall be my life's work to do something worthy of your memory. As Shakespeare said, we are such stuff as dreams are made on. And we must move on. Not with sad. <laughs>